Hello all, it's that time again. It's Sonic's birthday. Happy birthday, Sonic. And this time around, as everybody's already anticipating, I'm going to play through Sonic 1. We're going to have a good time. Uh, I will attempt to get all the Chaos Emeralds. If I fail, whatever, not a big deal. Just want to have some fun with it. Um, I just got done eating about 10 pounds of Taco Bell, and I have a massive, massive clogging of gas in my chest. I've got this big burp coming on, and it hasn't happened, and it's really slowing me down. So hopefully we'll get that resolved by the end of this. But, uh, yep, Sonic the Hedgehog on Sega Genesis via the Virtual Console is what we'll be playing today. In celebration of Sonic's birthday, I believe it's his 17th birthday. Yeah, 17. And uh, that's about it. We're going to reset this and get going. Uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Sega! That's what uh, my dad told me my first word was, was Sega! I think he only told me that to make me feel good, though, because I was obsessed with Sonic as a kid. Not to say that that's really changed. And the classic Green Hill Zone is where we start off with the music and the goodness and the pokey and the man and the water. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, oh yeah, okay, I need to do the 50 ring dealy with this one. I remember now. Aw, oh, yeah, I knew it. Oh yeah, that trick doesn't really work in this game. <laughs> also, no spin dash. Damn, I forgot about that. Oh, oh, that was very good. Oh, oh, that was beautiful, beautiful. You also get like points for jumping at special places after the signpost. It's pretty neat. Beautiful. That was beautiful. The special stages in this one are kind of neat, but also kind of frustrating at times because stuff happens and you don't have a lot of control over it, but they're still fun. I always get super nervous during them, though. Usually once you can get to this part with the diamonds, it's it's you're pretty much scot-free, but uh, you can still just as easily F up and then want to shoot yourself afterward. It's also funny because there's only six Chaos Emeralds in this game, and then they upped it to seven because Yuji Naka is actually a big fan of Dragon Ball Z and he wanted it to be like the Dragon Balls, and that's the same reason why there was a Super Sonic, you know, is a dab z dab I used to be in denial about that, but I've come to accept it. Oh, uh, yeah. oh, that was a cool jump. Sometimes you can get him to jump without, yeah, just like that, without going into the spin ball. Usually it's when you're pushing something. It's pretty cool. Uh, Sonic Adventure 2 was pretty cool because they had a complete 3D remake of this level. That was a really cool surprise. They should do something like that in another Sonic game, I think. Oh my god. So yeah, I woke up about three hours ago. It's currently uh, 1am, 1.30am. No spin dash is no fun. <laughs> that was funny, I was going faster running backwards than I was when I decided to go forward. This part can be really troublesome for a lot of novice players because they'll jump and then they'll go inside the pillar and then they'll hit the spikes. And one troublesome thing about the game is if you if you fall into a pit of spikes, you'll get hit and you lose your rings. And normally you're invulnerable for invulnerable, invulnerable for a few seconds. But uh, there was a glitch in the initial batch of this game that made it so that uh, the invulnerability just didn't count and you would still die. So it'd be like, oh god, get in there! Ah, oh, thank goodness. Whew. Going for emerald dose. So a lot of you have been uh, enjoying my live streams. I've been testing out some software lately, trying to get a live broadcast of goodness going. And uh, so far it's been pretty pretty successful, pretty fun. I've had a good time with it. Had some nice one-on-one -on -one time with some fans and uh, not really complaining. Oh, God. Uh, no. Okay. Oh, I hate that crap. It's so stupid. Anyway. But yeah, the streams have been a lot of fun. You guys should go there. Just ustream.com. 
and then you search 019 and my channel should pop up. <sighs> a lot of people think that Sonic 1 is one of the more difficult titles, and I'd have to agree with them, probably. Um, for a couple different reasons, and the infamous Labyrinth Zone doesn't really help its case too much. <sighs> Nobody likes water levels. And it's probably the first time for most that they hear that dreaded drowning music. We'll get into that later, I guess. Uh, it's nice, though. I haven't played this one in a sufficiently long time, so... Oh, my God. So it's kind of fresh for me. It's neat. I should probably like, make more jokes or something. I'm talking all the humble, like, not very entertaining for the viewers. Oh, oh. <laughs> Unfortunately, you can't get into a special zone in Act 3, you just go straight to the boss. Another thing that made it less forgiving. Sonic 2 only had like two acts per level, this one has three, and the boss is at the end of three. It's kind of rough. It's kind of rough. God, I better burp soon, I swear to God. this It's really... Slowing me down, I gotta tell ya. It's just like, I can feel it. I can feel my heart just slowing down. Oh man. I suppose that's what a spiced chicken crunch wrap, cheese goodie to crunch, double decker taco, and regular crunchy taco plus a large Baja Blast will do to ya. Oh man. It's, it's, it's hard right now to breathe. Hopefully I don't die. And since this isn't live, if I die, nobody can really like call 911. Not that anybody has my address anyway, I guess. And I'm rambling. <laughs> this is going to be a terrible play. Uh, I can already tell. Oh, man. Makes me sad. Alright, let's just not get hit now. Nope, no fire. Yeah, jumping too quick for the fire to appear. Aww, damn. This one's uh, kind of annoying for me because you have to go really slow. Actually, strike that. I revoke that statement. It's a really fun level. It's when Sega started focusing on speed too much when they messed a couple things up. It's still a platformer at heart. <laughs> this is actually not the first Sonic game I played as a kid. First Sonic game I ever played was Sonic 2. And uh, then I went to this one shortly thereafter. And I still had a good time. I think I like Sonic 2 better. And I was actually thinking about uh, <clears throat> playing through this in the iPod version. Uh, just to spice things up a bit. I can safely say that this is the one Sonic game I probably spent the most money on because of all the re-releases. The horrible Sonic the Hedgehog Genesis port on GBA. Yep, totally bought that just for the sake of collecting. And Virtual Console, Xbox Live. Uh, I think I have two hard copies on the Genesis, and I don't know what else, but ah, oh, thank god I had a shield, oh Jesus. And it's still bouncing. <laughs> it's still bouncing. I should have gotten hit by it like right after the signpost. On burp. Oh, I'm on the third one. Oh no! No! Yeah! <laughs> Suck my white ass, ball. <sighs> I thought I was gonna do the second one again. Oh well. I'm probably not gonna get all the chaos emeralds. Fortunately, there isn't much benefit to it. I think it just like does that try again thing or something. But if you do get them all, then at the end you get to look at Sonic, like, hold out his hands, and then the Chaos Emeralds, like, shine. And then that's it. 
Oh god, the burp. It's almost here. <laughs> Come on, do it. <laughs> I can't, like, make myself burp. Some people can, like, burp on command. I totally cannot do that. One of the many human talents that I am just lacking in. Combined with whistling and snapping and blowing bubbles and all that stupid stuff. I was, I was I was always really nervous at this part as a kid too, with the lava chasing you. It's like, oh my god. Come on, I'll feel so much oh, I will feel so much better once this stupid burp happens. <laughs> you cannot feel the suffering and the pain right now. Uh <gasps> I hope I'm not grossing anybody out, but it's true facts. It really hurts. Wong. <sighs> oh. I wonder what the mural on the background is. Let's see. Kind of looks like. Oh, I can't think of anything woody. Maybe flowers? Nah, I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> Damn it. I'm really sorry that you guys have to suffer through this like me. Oh man. Woof. Lava makes a funny sound. Woof. Woof. Oh. <laughs> I'm so sad right now, you guys. Oh, whatever. Major points. Oh, I missed it. I always forget about that second batch. Uh, ooh, that was a close call. That was like Indiana Jones stuff right there. We are going to die. Sad face. It's from Temple of Doom. Look out! Oh, okay, never mind. Oh, damn it! <laughs> I anticipated it coming down, I waited, I got confused, and then I jump up and get hit. Ah! Screw you guys. I'm going home. If you jump with the right timing, then you can walk backwards and play around. There's not much you can do, though, besides try and dislocate Sonic's head. <laughs> <coughs> I'm totally gonna die. <laughs> Maybe I should start writing my will. To my fans on YouTube, I leave a lock of my hair for them to fight over. We are Wayne Newton like. Speaking of hair, it's really long right now. I've been trying to get a haircut. Like, I've needed one for a really long time. I can't stand it when my hair is this long. But I'm really lazy. I'm thinking if I stay up long enough tonight, I'll probably just go in the morning. <sighs> this is such a boring play. Oh my god. I feel bad for everybody watching this right now. I really do. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. Hopefully I have nothing better to do than to listen to me ramble and watch me play a game. You like that one? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Ah! Slow down. That's funny. Oh, wrong way. Man, didn't even have to go that way. Man. Let's talk about Tim Buckley. Tim Buckley is the writer and artist of the comic Control-Alt-Delete. It's probably the most unfunny comic I've ever seen in my life. The man doesn't seem to really have any basic idea of joke structure. And I think he uh, gets off like to his name. Tim Buckley. He probably like says his name while he masturbates. That's my that's my take. I don't know. 
Oh, I'm Tim Buckley. I'm Tim Buckley, fat, fat, fat. Tim Buckley. That's what, that's what I think. I don't know. Ugh. It's funny too because his characters always have like the same face. It's, it's really hilarious. Go, little rabbits and ghost-like creatures. Oh, I think that's a seal or something. And that wasn't a rabbit. That was probably a chipmunk or something. God, retarded. Ugh, almost. Come on. Come on. Oh, God. I think the burp's coming, finally. I can feel it. <laughs> Come on. I can feel it like it's right in my neck. Ace Ventura 2. Aww. Damn it. When nature calls. <laughs> that means going to the bathroom. <sighs> Need rings. Oh, there's that sonic mimic. Oh, I'm sweet. That was awesome. Awesome evasion. There we go. Rings. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, I go up. Damn it. I thought I was going to go to the side for some reason. Oh! <laughs> Whoa! Damn it. You can't, like, land really close to the spring to immediately start going, like in Sonic 2 and Sonic 3. You guys, I hope you pity me. I hope you really feel bad for me, because this is just incredible suffering that I'm going through right now. Just incredible. Beep, 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 loo, dip. Alright, that's pretty good. That's pretty awesome. At least I haven't died. I'll try not to die throughout the entire playthrough. Maybe maybe we can do that. Okay, fourth fourth bonus zone. Let's do this. Bonus zone. It's stage silly. Okay, take it easy. Nice and slow now. Good. Good. Which way do we go? Okay, we don't go that way. We go up here. No. Yep. Yeah, no. 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 Okay. All right. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Take it easy. Down. Okay. I saw the arrow. I saw the arrow. Wait a minute. I'm scared. This looks like the right way because it's pretty long. The arrow. Follow the arrow. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that would have been so crazy if I got out of that <laughs> but no I failed that's a pretty epic 019 failure though maybe I should start talking in the third person that'd be pretty cool <sighs> 019 don't need this right now 019 really wants to burp 019, 019, 019. Oh crap, the slow ones. That was a reference to Bob Dole from uh, Futurama. Wait, was it Futurama that he was like that in? Yeah, I think it was. Bob Dole. Bob Dole. And then he falls asleep. Yeah. <laughs> Beam! Beam! Popping over. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. <laughs> I 
I can click my tongue, guys. Oh!